So here we are smack dab in the middle of the Pan Am Games. And uh, it's interesting when you uh, kind of look around the city, you see people with maps, people uh, doing their part to make sure that everybody is on track. Laminates. E everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And one of the great things that really keeps this game on track are all of the volunteers. And we happen to have one on the phone with us. We want to say good morning to Jose Tabuada. Hello, Jose. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? We're good. Now, Jose, first of all, how old are you? I am 21. And uh, are you a student? I am. I'm currently a student at Centennial College for uh, broadcasting and film. Oh, okay. So uh, you could be after our jobs. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever I get. So it's, it's not really a big deal. As long as I'm in the industry, I'm happy with what I have. Now, how did you find out about uh, first hearing about the possibility to volunteer at the Pan Am Games? Well, I mean, um, you know, on your daily commute to school or to work, you see, you start to see the subway signs, and you start to see the, you hear the commercials and the TV advertisements. So when the uh, when the applications came out, and I said, that's it, that's my chance to uh, apply, so that's what I did. Did you do a specific thing, Jose? Like, were you at one venue or one event? How did that work? I was. So when I originally applied, I just said I wanted to be at the Exhibition Center just because it was um, closer to home. And so when I got the position, I ended up being at the squash event that was at Exhibition Center for the week, and I was part of the athlete services crew. So I was assisting the athletes in anything that they needed. Were they long days? Were you there from, you know, sunup to sundown? Um, I had evening shifts, but I did get a couple long shifts just because, you know, some of the matches lasted um, a good while. So, you know, we had team squash, and the Canadians and the Colombians ended up going up for about three hours on my second last day. And then, you know, the, my last day I was there, another long match between the Canadians and the Argentinians. It was really, really great squash. Just, um, yeah, just for that reason, just it was getting really good that the matches took a while. Now, really, when we think squash, we don't think like, wow, we know all of the names of all of those players. We can't wait to watch. How was it? Was it as exciting as we think it might have been? Absolutely. I mean, originally, I'm such a big Toronto kid, so I'm so used to baseball, hockey, basketball, and all the other mm. big sports that we have here. So when I saw squash for the first time, I told myself, how is this not known more in the city? And I know there's a the National Squash Academy up at Downsview Park, but I mean, the passion that these guys have, and not only that, the intensity in a match is just absolutely amazing. I mean, they, they really can put on a show for you. Absolutely. So you were working with the athletes, kind of helping them get around and whatnot? I was, yeah. I mean, apart from that, you know, pretty much assisting them, like, you know, towels, water, uh, anything that they needed, to be honest. And I only had a chance to work with only one team just because that we were assigned different teams and I ended up getting only Argentina. And they were fantastic. The coaches and players were really nice, really respectful, you know, and really grateful for all of us. So I was pretty fortunate to have such a great team to work with. Isn't that amazing? Well, good for you. Is there one thing that you think you're going to be able to take away from this that you'll be able to use for the rest of your life? Oh, my goodness. Um, everything. I, I, it's so hard to pick something, to be honest. But, I mean, it was such a great experience overall that I'm just so fortunate to have been able to do it. And I also been placed as a, I was placed as a social media ambassador for the game. So I was tweeting. I was Instagramming everything I possibly can for the games. And I'm so happy I was able to do that. Just because it, it's such an exciting time in our city, so and what a what a wonderful uh, opportunity and a great column this is all going to be on your resume. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, of course, the resume building is going to be there, but I mean, at the time and when I got the position in January, my only goal was um, to really be the best that I can be at these uh, at these games, and that's what I hopefully did. And so I'm really fortunate enough to be granted to help to give the chance to represent my city and my country. Way to go, Jose! Thank you so much. No, thank you, guys.